This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets in positive territory, but barely hanging on to those gains right now. As I say that, the NASDAQ 100 slides to a flat to positive territory. S&P's up by six, trading at 41.49. You got the Dow up by 43 points right now, trading at 33,413. And the Russell up by five. Crude, some volatility overnight. Almost makes it down to 70. We're back to 71.56. Gold is moving this morning down to a low of 2005. We're back to basically where you were on that acceleration yesterday. 2023, positive by $3 technically on the session for the gold contract. You jump over to silver. Some volatility as well. Wednesday, we're at 26 and change. Right now, we're at 24.30 on silver. Excuse me. And you jump over to notes and bonds. Some pretty tame action, considering the action we're getting in gold. 10-year off by two ticks. You got the 30-year positive by two ticks. And we jump over to the dollar index right now. Dollar index rising to 102.26 right now as this market gives it up just that quick, man. A little bit of a sell-off. When I was coming into the 10 o'clock update, we were trading at 41.54. We are dropping to 41.45 right now. Not sure if anything in particular happened. But I, what I did want to focus for this update, uh, Fed officials signal support for further rate increases. You have Fed Governor Michelle Bowman saying there hasn't been sufficient evidence of a labor market or inflation slowdown. Talked a little bit about this in my program, but I pay attention to this, man, because you're already seeing some Fed speak out there, okay? And it should make sense. Should inflation remain high and the labor market remain tight, additional monetary policy tightening will likely be appropriate to attain a sufficiently restrictive stance in monetary policy to lower inflation over time. Those were remarks that she made in Germany. Of course it should, folks. Now, the kicker said, um, she would be looking for consistent evidence. The inflation's on the downward path. And she added, have not provided, as in this, the data this week, the most recent readings on inflation and employment have not provided consistent evidence that inflation is on the downward path. So we're looking for more data, okay? And that's not what just hit this. That had been out already. So not sure what hit this market just now. But markets, back to flat. We're still sitting right near that 4,200 price point. Thanks so much, folks. Stay tuned. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up live with the Trader's Edge at 11 o'clock, man. Uh, thanks so much for starting your Friday here, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.